identify the element in the periodic table represented by the following photoelectron spectrum. So we start from the nucleus, from the shell with the highest binding energy, and work our way to the valence shell. And you can follow the periodic table to do this, going from each energy level in order. So we know that the subshells closer to the nucleus get filled first, and the S subshells take two electrons. So we can see that the P subshell has two, four, six electrons, and the 3S has two electrons, and the 3P subshell, relative to the 1S subshell, has five electrons as we can see. So therefore the electron configuration of our element is written as follows. And that's representative of chlorine. Let's identify the element in the periodic table represented by the following photoelectron spectrum. So we can work our way through the periodic table in order of energy levels. So basically, the subshells closest to the nucleus to the valence shell. So what we have is the 1s, 2s, 2p, and so on. And note that the D subshell takes 10 electrons, whereas the P subshell takes 6 electrons. And the S subshells are 2 elements wide, so they take 2 electrons. So knowing this, we can write the number of electrons against each of those subshells. And as we can determine, the 4p subshell, in this case, takes two electrons, according to the scale of this graph. So we can write the electron configuration of our element as follows. And this is the electron configuration of germanium.